guys, Sabrina and King here from Royale Equestrian Center, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to cut a horse's mane. So let's go ahead and get into it. So there are a couple of reasons why we trim the horse's mane. A lot of them are personal preference. So the first one is a shorter mane is actually easier to keep tidy and organized. If your horse has a long mane like King does, it actually does take quite a bit of work and maintenance to make sure that it stays nice. Another reason why we trim our horse's manes is it can actually help enhance or change the shape of your horse's neck, depending on if you're trying to make the neck look longer or thicker. And another reason why we would trim rather than pulling the mane is trimming the mane allows you to leave a little bit of thickness. Now for me personally, I prefer a thicker mane if I'm braiding to do dressage braids because then they end up a little bit fuller and a little bit thicker. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when trimming a mane is to make sure that all of the mane is on one side of your horse's neck, typically the right side. This is pretty important because if the mane is on both sides while you're cutting, there is a possibility that you're going to forget a piece on the other side of your horse's neck, or if you do try and trim on both sides of your horse's neck, the mane is going to end up looking uneven and not flattering. If your horse does have a mane that falls to both sides of his neck, you can train the mane to fall onto the opposite side. All you have to do is braid the section of hair that you want to stay on the other side. You want to make sure that that braid is tight enough that it's not going to come out, but also loose enough that it won't irritate your horse because that braid is actually going to stay in for a couple of days. The second step to trimming your horse's mane is to brush it all out. If the mane is particularly knotted, I would recommend using a detangler. When you're brushing out the mane, you want to try not to yank too hard as this could pull out some of your horse's mane and that's going to get rid of some of that thickness that we're trying to keep here. It's important to be patient with your horse too if they aren't used to having your mane brushed or cut. Give them pads, let them shake it out, do what they need to do. Okay, on to the cutting. The first thing you'll wanna do is to trim the bridle path. I apologize that this is not very clearly shown in this video here, um, but you do wanna cut it just wide enough that the crown piece of the halter or bridle should fit there. Next, we'll move on to the actual mane. If your horse's mane is very long like King's is here, you can do a first pass just straight across to get rid of some of the length. Don't worry about evenness at this point. You want it roughly the same, but it's not a huge deal. Once you've got the bulk of the length off, you're gonna go ahead and trim that mane at a 90 degree angle or at a 45 degree angle. This is gonna allow you to take off some length without giving it a blunt trim. You're going to repeat this process as many times as you need, making sure that you're brushing out the mane every now, and the, every now and then to ensure that there are no long pieces hiding behind it. Something to remember here, cut your mane long. You can always take off more length if you need, but if you go too short, you cannot put that mane back. <laughs> Once the mane is even and the length that you would like, you can take some scissors and trim straight across to get a blunt look if you want. I always prefer to leave the mane looking a bit more natural with those 45 degree cuts because in my opinion it looks less like a bowl cut. And here's the finished product. I decided to leave King's mane a little bit longer but I'm quite happy with how it looks. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Royale Equestrian Center's YouTube channel so you never miss another video. Bye for now.